Can you say why America is the greatest country in the world? <laughs> I'm not letting you go back to the airport without answering the question. A lot of shit comes up that people would want to vote on, like the bailouts, the war, all, all thing, things of this nature. There's a lot of things that people would like that's going to affect us. We would like to vote on this, but you don't get to vote on it. You get to vote on a representative. These people are going to represent you once they get in, into office. And think about some of the laws that are in place that protect corporations. Think about some of the laws that, that are in place that fuck people over every day. They wouldn't be there if people were voting for them. We all have this, this desire to have someone lead us. We all have this, this feeling where we need someone who's smarter and wiser, who represents us. You know, and when you're really fucking dumb, the problem is really dumb people, they get a say in everything too. And they're, they're subject to a lot of tricks. Mm -hmm. they're, subjects to, they're subject to nationalism, they're subject to these kind of ridiculous rah, rah, rah America speeches that don't say jack shit, they say nothing. It's all just this cheerleading fucking yeah. event. And they, they're subject to it. They, they can't help it. They're dumb. They, they don't know they're being bullshitted. They, they grew up around dumb people. They go to work with dumb people. There's no one in their family that's interesting or asks any questions at all. And they just get sucked right into it, man. This society is so greedy, we're willing to go to war. We're willing to go places and send these big metal machines that kill people and fuck people up just so we can make more money. And the way our society is set up, I mean, I've heard it argued, and argued successfully, that our society runs on war. You know, it runs on the domination of uh, the other parts of the world. And literally, that's the only way you can control a gigantic chunk of the globe. You have to keep everybody down, you know, and that's what our society is based on. We can't be fighting over each other because, you know, this guy's like a million people die in Iraq, and everybody goes, hey, as long as it doesn't happen over here. But it is, right. that is over here. It's just right. over here, over there. It's the same thing. It's the people you don't know that were born somewhere else who fucking got jacked. You get trapped in that whole idea of, you know, this is my team, these are my people, and, you know, someone fucking plays a country music song and throws up a flag, and I'm in. Fuck it. It feels good. It feels good to be in, right? It feels good. God bless America. It feels good. Singing yeah. around with a bunch of other people and you're all drinking. Yeah. We're the fucking baddest motherfuckers on the planet. Woo! And that's how people get recruited. It's a clusterfuck, man. These poor fucking kids, man. Could you imagine being 18, 19, being talked into doing this shit for a bunch of bloodthirsty motherfuckers who just are trying to get whatever they're trying to get over there, whatever the fuck it is, whether it's uh, lithium, you know, minerals in the mountains that they use to make cell phones, whether it's 90% plus of the world's opium supply, 90 fucking percent? That is a multi, multi billion dollar business. And if you think these fucking industrialist cocksuckers that are running the world are going to leave that money behind, you're fucking crazy. Dude, they've got United States Army troops guarding Poppy Field. There's fucking so much heroin there. I mean, it's incredible. The fucking brother of the president of Afghanistan, his brother was selling heroin and getting paid by the CIA. I mean, god damn it. Heroin is absolutely addictive, okay? People who try heroin get hooked. Heroin is everywhere, okay? So you need to sell it. Someone's selling it. Who's selling it? I, I don't know, but 90% of it comes from this one place where we have to be to save our freedom. You, you can't criticize it. Because if you criticize it, you're a shithead. You don't appreciate the troops and what they're doing for you. And that's not the case at all. I just don't like the idea of these fucking people leading us in any direction where you need to sacrifice your life. Well, I don't believe it. I don't believe them. When there's been so many fucking lies. I mean, the more you look it up, the more... I mean, you go, go into any of the stories on the weapons of mass destruction before we invaded and, and compare them to what we actually know that they really knew when they said that. It's like they did it on purpose. They wanted to get in there for whatever fucking reason. And if it's some crazy, the world is going to end if we don't stop this, but we can't tell you shit, like, I would love to believe you. I would love to believe that the reason why you're, you're not telling us exactly what the fuck is going on is because you're really protecting us from some insanely evil thing that if we knew about it, it would, society would collapse. But yeah. our strong, brave, powerful leaders are going to guide us yeah. without our knowledge. I would yeah. love to believe you.
if you weren't all full of shit, 